This is Jordan with MyMediaTutorials.com and I'm going to teach you how to make a reflection of this text. I just um, inserted a text, our uh, website title, and uh, as you can see it's just a text, um, a little text layer, and it's over here, it's on, it's a white text on a black background. I'm going to right click on that layer and click Rasterize Type. So. That will make this text into an image. It's no longer text, it's actually an image of text. I could just move it around. But I'm going to keep it there, and I'm going to duplicate this layer by dragging this layer to the Create New Layer icon down here. You can see this down here. That little icon. And um, so now we have two of them. We're going to click on the top one, or either either one. The bottom one will work, too. And we're going to go to the edit menu. We're going to go to transform. And we're going to go to uh, flip vertically. Now we're going to use our move tool, this little guy up here. That one. We're going to use that to uh, move it around. And we're just going to adjust it to where it needs to be. And uh, that looks pretty good. All we're going to do now is press Control T. That'll bring up our transform, uh, free transform menu, and we're going to right-click on this, and we're going to go to Perspective. And then we're going to drag the uh, closest corner outward. You see that kind of um, distorted where it is, so we're going to drag. Oops, Control Z. We're going to change it to uh, scale here and drag it inward again to fix uh, to fix where it is. To make uh, you could see that the M was outside of the M over here and same over here. So we just need to drag those back inward to line everything back up. And now you can see that that's got the reflection there. It's not the best looking right now because it is obviously fully opaque, and we want to change that, make it more like that. And we can actually uh, move it down a little bit, I would guess. If you want to move something down, instead of having it um, snap to the grid, you can hold the control key to uh, move it right. There you go. So now you can see that it's kind of uh, kind of going for the reflection there. But there's one more thing you'll want to do. Make sure you're on the layer of the reflection. And we're going to go to a mask. And you can see this uh, button down here adds a mask. And uh, so we're going to click on that, and it will make a little box right here next to the layer. And now all we have to do is go to our gradient tool over here. It, you hold down the paintbrush tool or G, and it'll be the gradient tool then. And we need to change the mode to black to transparent, or foreground to transparent really, but it's black. Our foreground needs to be black. Make sure that this is black over here black. There we go. So now that we have that, we're just going to click right at the very um, bottom of the reflection and drag to about a little past the middle. You'll see it starts fading out. That's what we want. Maybe drag one more time. Add a little more. Oops, control Z. Because actually, hold shift when you're dragging. That'll go a straight line upward. Make it a little easier for you to go all the way across. And you can see it starts to fade out at the bottom. That is creating a reflection. And that's what you want. And if you want to change the uh, opacity again, just add a little more, take a little more away. And you can already see, you can always make it more faded and whatnot. It's up to you what you want to do with that. But that's how you do it. You just um, flip it. Uh, and move it down, change it with the perspective using transform tools and uh, resizing it back to the correct places and there you go and then just adding the gradient just for the bonus. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial and visit our website for a lot more and our forms page now for um, to request tutorials or do whatever. Thanks for watching.